all right i think we are live so hello mr B hello, hello mr b and mr tofik a2 hello my friends and thank you so much for joining you are the first two guys to join the testing video for the muscle car evolution challenge hello my friends and thank you so much for joining uh, i would love if you can please if you can, if you can confirm that the you know the screen the microphone everything is working as it should be so we can start testing hello mr f5 twister hello my friend thank you so much all the way and uh, our video looks good that's great to know mr mr my thick 595 says seems to be working fine all right that's good uh, that means everything is working as it should be and again hello gentlemen and welcome to the testing video for the muscle car evolution challenge uh, this uh, this awesome challenge was sponsored by Mr. I, I, I like as I quite remember his username was um, Hard work pays off. That was his username. This challenge is sponsored by this awesome guy and uh, ob Obviously, we are going to test those awesome cars that you guys uh, you know You know made and participated with in this awesome challenge for a chance to win this awesome car the Mer the Mercury 350 as you can see with all of its glory running with a small block ford uh, v8 under the hood 350 horsepower rear wheel drive superb looks and well superb performance all right gentlemen so as you already as you already know um i i mentioned already on discord that we are going to test using the class system hello hello mr drunken hamster hello my friend thank you so much for joining hello mr big boy shype hello my friend thank you also my friend for joining so yes gentlemen as i mentioned uh, we have the class system uh, in this awesome challenge in this awesome testing video because uh, we have a huge range of power uh, you know of, of powerful cars ranging from like 350 horsepower up to 1600 horsepower so obviously you can't put them against each other that's a huge huge gap of power between those two so yeah you know, the class system definitely makes it a little bit you know fair for those guys that you know just want a beautiful you know a beautiful looking muscle car with like 400 horsepower only you know against the against the crazy creator with you know 1100 horsepower or even 1600 horsepower all right so let's start with the lowest class yes the lowest class will be beginning with that first you know the the cars with the low with the lowest power to see what kind of uh, you know quarter mile time are we looking for, are we looking on and then of course moving up and up until we reach the beasts of cars you know the the, the a class which is like a thousand horsepower and more these will be at the end so let's start with the with the lowest class which is of course the, the d class all right so as you can see we are on the west coast map in beam and the try obviously these are muscle cars and muscle cars these cars were designed only for one thing and one thing only which is of course drag racing yes i know some of you guys you know tuned them to be good on the track as well which is a plus actually uh, you know a muscle car uh, i mean the olden days muscle cars should never I mean, these things would never take a corner without you know spinning out and wrapping yourself around the tree or you know end up in a ditch but you know these days you know as as most of you already know that i mean we, we saw the hellcat we saw the demon we saw the new shelby mustang and uh, and and the new camaro these things are these days you can actually take them around corners you know except the mustang the mustang definitely will wrap you around the tree but still you know um you can actually take uh, go to the track with them you know enjoy some you know light track day but you couldn't do that in the past in the past these things were only made for drag racing all right so uh, because we do have because we have some we have really a lot of cars here i'm looking at my book right now and we have around 28 cars so 28 cars my friend to test that's that that's why i went with drag racing only because if i want to take them around the track as well yeah it will take us forever it will be like a five hour live stream and uh, really i don't have that and that enough energy to do that so let's see what kind of um, you know quarter mile time are we looking to so let me flip the page because or i mean actually let me take a new page out of my book because i'm going to be writing the results myself not using the automation for the bmng system because the bmng system will get mixed up between the classes so or what, what do you think gentlemen should i write the results myself 
or should I use the BMNG system? Because if I want to use the BMNG system, I can't put a rival, you know, on the next quarter mile lane. I can't put, you know, an opponent against us. I can't use the AI as an opponent. Uh, or I can write the results myself and, and we can put an opponent. What do you think? Make note? Okay. Okay, we can put an opponent, you know, against us. Makes, make, makes the drag racing more exciting. Okay. Here we go, a fresh page out of my book, so we can write the results down. Let me get my trusty pen. Here we go. And these are the specs of the cars, because I wrote a huge list. I can take a picture of that and show you on Discord later. Uh, with, the, with everything, like the specs of the cars, the names, uh, like a 0 to 100 time and all of that. So yeah, I always do that on, on every possible challenge. That means I have a huge book full of previous results of every possible challenge that we made in the past. It's like a full fat notebook with every possible car we made at the, since the beginning of challenges. I'm still using the same book, but obviously I used a lot of pens. All right, so we are in BeamNG as I mentioned. Let's see, so this is the price car as I mentioned already. Here we go, this is the price card I mentioned already, the Mercury 350, as you can see with all of its glory. Right, now we will be testing that at the end. So, here we go, so let's get, let's back up a little bit, and uh, let's see what kind of first car that we have to begin with. So, as I mentioned, we will be starting with the Class D, and Class D, well, there, there aren't actually that many cars in the class. Let's see, we have one, two... Let's see, one, two, three. Ah, three cars only in the class D. Okay, that makes sense. So, all right, so the first car to start with, as you can see, because this is the list for tonight. Amazing looking cars. We will be definitely seeing some stars uh, on the show, which is absolutely awesome. And the first one to start with, uh, the name is, let's see, the name is Super Cruise Hawk, this pink beautiful looking thing. So the Super Cruise Hawk, which is a class D, uh, is is using a 4.2 liter V8. It's rear wheel drive, and it's pushing. Uh, let's see, where is it? It's pushing 360 horsepower with zero to 100 time in in four seconds. Yes, my friends, four seconds from zero to 100 time. Now, as you can see, it looks uh, it looks very special. Looks like uh, I don't know a 1970s Cadillac body, but you know fixtures from the 1950s. Which is, a, which is like a very, very, very unique setup, as you can see. The rims, the bumpers, these things look like really from the 1950s. So, as I mentioned, what we have is a 4.2 liter V8 rear wheel drive, 360 horsepower. Let me write the name of it on my book, starting with it. It's called the Hawk, or I'm gonna call it Super Hawk. Here we go. Super Hawk. All right, so let's see what the Super Hawk can do on the quarter mile. Uh, what do you think, gentlemen? A 360 horsepower, horsepower. What do you think? What kind of a muscle car we need? We can use against it from Beam NG. What What do you think? I mean, we we have the uh, we have the Moon Hawk, we have the 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 Bar Stew, we have the Blue Buck. These things are like American cars, and we also have the Burnside Special. So, what do you think? Which one of them? like 300 horsepower, something like this, you know, that we can actually put it against it as a good opponent. The blue buck, where's the blue buck? The blue buck, okay, it looks like an Impala. Do the blue buck mid trim model. All right, the blue, blu the blue buck mid trim model. Mid trim model, all right, so we have a lot of cubic inch options ranging from, let's say, ranging from 291 cubic inch, 350, 353 cubic inch and 423. What do you think is the good a good a good one to pick? What do you think? Should we should we go like medium size 353 cubic inch? All right, 353 manual or automatic? What do you think? Manual or automatic? Manual or automatic? Which one should we pick? 353 Marshall four door. What do you think, gentlemen? Manual. All right, here we go then. All right, let's go to the starting line so we can pick our opponent. Manual, definitely. All right, here we go. So the blue, blue block, blue block, sorry. Uh, 353 manual, here we go. All right, let's see what kind of number, let's see what kind of number 
this thing will will do. Here we go. So since we are rear wheel drive, we can warm up our tires. All right, I think we are using a dual clutch. Here we go. Wow, that thing is so slow. Whoa, look at that, 10.9. Wow, indeed, 10.9, doing 123 miles per hour. Wow, this thing actually is very quick. I'm very surprised, actually. I mean, 360 horsepower, and we did 10.9 seconds. Huh. Yeah. All right, so 10.9, this is our benchmark. Let's let's select a faster version. I mean, the 353 is crap, actually. So let's pick, uh, you know, the 423 V8. The 423 V8. Here we go, the road sport version. Maybe this one is, like, the best one. Let's try another one. Yeah. Here we go. Let's let's do another run. Wow, still slow. Wow. 10.9. 10.9 again. 10.9 again. Yes, I know it's weird, but remember, this is muscle car evolution. That means you can use good parts. You, you, you can't just use crappy parts. But remember, I mean, if, even if you use automatic, even the automatic, the normal automatic, it still shifts quickly. It's not really that crap, you know? Yeah. All right. Um, uh, so 10.9 is the first uh, is the first number for our class. D Super Hawk, Super Cruiser Hawk. Here we go, 10.9. Not a bad start, not a bad start at all. All right, so let's get back to the... Look at that. Look, this thing looks actually fantastic. All right, not bad at all. All right, let's get back to the start line. Let's select our the other, other beast from the class D and see what's what. Here we go. So the other beast that we are going to try, it's called... Let's see, according to my book, it's called the Boar Inferno. Here we go, the Boar Inferno 2020. So the Boar Inferno 2020 is another Class D contender with 332 horsepower. It's also rear wheel drive and it's, it's running with a 4.6 liter engine, twin turbo V8 obviously, and 0 to 100 in 4.8 seconds. Now. As you can see, this thing looks actually, to be honest, it looks very sleek, very uh, very smooth looking. Uh, the headlights obviously are running with some sort of cover, so obviously when the when the covers are open, this thing should look nice on the front. You know, it's not really you know the 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 best looking beast, but you know it's there are some awesome uh, touch ups there and there are some classy touch ups like those lines and the vents on the side. You know, it's not bad. The bumpers looks you know. Um, Good ish, so yeah, you know this thing didn't break any rules. So let's 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 drive it and see what's what. But obviously we need to pick a better contender because you know that car, that yellow thing over there is absolutely slow. So I would love suggestions, guys. So suggestion, gentlemen, what do you think? Any suggestions? The drag version? No, the drag version is definitely. Is definitely you know um... all right well that makes sense actually makes sense yeah it makes sense I like that let's pick the pink daddy or the super, super cruise Hawk yes makes sense actually to put them against each other I like I like that yeah good yeah good suggestion all right here we go so the pink cruiser against uh, our but obviously the AI is an idiot so the, the idiot won't won't really score 10.9 but let's see how good the AI is. Here we go. Whoa, look at that. The idiot AI is just smoking us. That serves me well for calling the AI an idiot. So this thing did um, 
12.3 as you can see doing 111 now as you can see the ai did uh, you know 11.5 which is uh, you know a lot slower than 10.9 which is my result with that thing as you can see doing 123 so yeah it's not it's not gonna be as as quick as that but let me try again and launch it hard you know i'm, I'm gonna try it both you know two times each car i'm gonna try it twice just to be fair, you know, so I can make sure the launch is actually good. Here we go. Let's try again now. Yeah, the launch is, is a lot better, but yeah, obviously that thing is a lot more powerful. Alright, 12.2 doing, uh, 11, you know, uh, 111. Alright, not bad. Not bad at all. Here we go. So, uh, 12.2 for the Boar Inferno. Let me write it down. Uh, here we go. The Boar Inferno. Inferno. Here we go. This thing did 12.2. Not bad. Not bad. At all. Another Class D contender. All right. Not bad. Not bad at all. The second place so far in the Class. D. All right, gentlemen. So so far we finished two cars in the class D. Both of the, you know the, the pink one looks a little bit a lot a little bit better than this one, but both of them are really not that bad. So let's pick our third contender in the class D and see what kind of results are we looking for. And obviously I'm gonna be I'm gonna keep the same opponent, the pink cruiser, because it's the it's the fastest one so far. So so the third contender it's called. Um, Okay, so the third contender has a, a, a unique name, a very unique name. It's called... Where is it? First, let me find it. Because I can't find it. Oh, boy. Oh, I think it's... Ah, here we go, here we go, I found it. Okay, so it's called the 1971... Uh, it's called the 1971 Fjord. Yes, Fjord. Uh, moustache. Yeah, moustache. Or moustache. Mark one there. Yeah, so let's yeah, I know it's, it sounds funny. I know but let's see Fjord then so 1971 Fjord Yeah, it's loading it's taking this time because it's full of fixtures that I mean at first when I saw that thing I'm I wasn't really sure about it, but I saw the the immense amount of work that was uh, that was you know used to create it so all right so this is the 1971 fjord mustache mark one this thing is running with 395 horsepower 5.8 liter v8 it's naturally aspirated by the way and it's rear wheel drive going from 0 to 100 in 4.7 seconds let me write it down on my book here we go the, uh, the fjord mustache mustache Mark one. Here we go. All right, class D. So let's see how 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 good this thing is on the drag strip. Here we go. So natural aspirated love, and let's see. All right, not bad. Oh, it's, oh crap! It's it's. It's uh, manual. Okay, sorry about that. I know, I know, I messed it up. Okay, let, let's let's try again because I know I messed it up. This is manual. I should have checked. All right, let's try again and let's make it official. So this is manual then. All right, all right. I thought it was another do clutch thing. All right, let's let's burn the tires a little bit. Here we go. Let's uh, let's stage ourselves nicely. Here we go. Come on, 395 horsepower! Wow, crap! The dual clutch is is the better gearbox here. Yeah, 12.8. Although we have more power, but but we have a manual, and also it's a little. Bit, this one is a little bit heavier. So let's try again. Let's try again and let's let's not launch it so hard on the RPM range. I don't know because this thing spins the tires hard even on this gluey surface. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah. 
Wow, 12.6. Yeah. 12.6. Hmm. Yep, so unfortunately, the results of the Fjord mustache, unfortunately, is, uh, well, 12.6. 12.6, which means... Which means, gentlemen, the Class D winner is the Pink uh, Super Cruise Hawk. This is the star of the, of the, of course, the D class. So nice work for the for the Pink Cruiser creator. Uh, I mean that that thing is only running with like uh, 360 horsepower, but thanks to the dual clutch gearbox and thanks to the awesome gearing and the grip, I mean it just flies off the line, very 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 nicely. All right, so um. No, no, because because my friend uh, Mr. Mr. B, uh, if, if I'm gonna be if I'm gonna be pushing the pink cruiser into class C, it, it, it won't have any chance. But we can we can uh, we can push it as a as a first contender, you know, as as a first opponent. We can try that. Here we go. All right, the pink car definitely took the title. All right, this thing actually is good for uh, donuts. Makes sense, it's a muscle car. But it overheats quickly, as you can see. The temperature shoots up really hard. Yeah, as you can see, temperature shoots up really, really hard. All right, so that's something. All right, gentlemen, so uh, we finished from the Class D with, the, with of course, the winner contender of the, you know, the, the winner of the Class D is the Super Hawk Pink Cruiser. All right, now let's move on with class C. Let's see, the first class C car that we have here, it's called the FPE. Where is the FPE? FPE. Here we go, the first, the first, the first victim in the class C, it's called the FPE. Let me write it down in my book. Who is the creator of the FPE? Who is the creator of the FPE? I would love to know that. Where's my phone? So as you can see, the FPE, is actually, uh, I mean, in, in automation game, this thing looks absolutely sweet. I mean, really, really sweet in automation. But in BeamNG, the paint, the paint quality is crap, and also the the custom headlights and taillights, uh, they look a lot better in in automation. This thing has amazing looking fixtures, and uh, the paint quality, as I mentioned, in automation, it looks absolutely superb. But uh, here, it looks very weird. But anyway, I'm really, really happy with this thing. So let's see how this thing will run. So the FPE uh, came from the factory with 500 horsepower, five liter V8 turbo. It's all wheel drive and goes from zero to 100 in 3.6 seconds. So this thing is a serious, serious, serious power. So let's turn off the traction control. Obviously it's all wheel drive. That means we can't do any kind of burnout. So let's see what's what. Also do clutch, okay. Ah oh, crap, I got disqualified. I got I got a lot excited because you know all wheel drive monster do clutch. Alright, let's see. Because I want to launch it really hard. Here we go. Sorry about that gentlemen. Yeah! Oh, look at that! The pink cruiser actually is fighting back! Look at the pink cruiser, it's fighting back! Wow! Wow, the pink cruiser is fighting and it's faster! How is that possible? How in God's name is a 360 horsepower car is faster than a 500 horsepower car? I mean, the pink cruiser I got in 10.9 seconds. In this one, I got only 11.2. Wow, the pink cruiser is definitely fighting hard. All right, let's try again. Let's try again. This time, I'm gonna launch it as hard as I can. Let me focus on the tree. Here we go. Come on. 10.9 to beat. Wow, this is as fast as it will go. 11.1. Wow, 11.1. Wow, so yeah, the FPE definitely is... <laughs> the FPE definitely is not really as fast as the pink 
as the pink cruiser the pink cruiser i mean this thing is definitely is rocking hard 360 horsepower but it's just rocking really 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 hard so 11.1131 okay so um i don't know should should what, 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 will, what will be the next opponent should i go with the fpe as an as, a, as the next opponent or should i keep the pink cruiser Wow, so what do you think, gentlemen? Should I keep the pink cruiser as uh, as, the, as an opponent? Because, I mean, realistically, it's a lot faster. Or should I just put the blue car as uh, as an opponent? Wow, they keep the pink? Yes, it's still the fastest. I mean, on, on, on paper, uh, because I drove, I drove the pink cruiser, the pink cruiser did 10.9. I mean, no car so far went that, not, not, even, not even close to that. Yep, so here we go. So the pink cruiser is definitely still holding the crown so far. All right, so after the FPE, we have, uh, all right, we have a star now. All right, now this one you will definitely like, gentlemen. And the class C, the, next, the second one in the class C, it's called the Catan. Where is the Catan, Catan? Ah, here we go. Now this one, it took, this one actually uh, took a star. Actually, I gave it a star because it looks absolutely superb let me show it to you so as you can see it looks very 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 classy from the side it's called the katan something i'm gonna call it katan mac that's what i'm gonna call it so as you can see it looks absolutely superb 495 horsepower 5 liter v8 it's naturally aspirated and it's rear wheel drive it goes from 0 to 100 in 3.8 seconds it's absolutely beautiful as you can see, look at those classy rims, but also very thin tires. But I mean, look at that. And the rear, look at the rear. The rear is definitely another story. Check out the rear. Look at the look at the funky exhaust. The funky exhaust, the frosted lines, just beautiful. Definitely took a star because this thing absolutely deserves it, the star. So, what I mentioned already, uh, okay, what did I mention already? Okay, so uh, 495 horsepower, 5 liter naturally aspirated V8, and it's rear wheel drive. So, let's see what's going on. Here we go. Here you go, gentlemen. Oh my goodness. Goodbye, Pink Cruiser. Yeah. 10.2. Here we go, gentlemen. 10.2. And it's rear wheel drive. It's not even all wheel drive. No, it's rear wheel drive. It's naturally aspirated. It's pushing 495 horsepower. And it's absolutely a beast. Wow. 10.2, gentlemen. 10.2. All right. The Catan definitely is not only a star because of its looks. It's also a star with its performance. The Catan did 10.2. But to, to, make, to, keep, to make it fair, I'm going to do another run. Just to, to make it fair, you know. And yeah, definitely awesome. And I definitely... So let's do another run, you know, just to confirm the results. Maybe, maybe we'll get faster, maybe we'll get slower, who knows, but let's try. Let's make it. Here we go. Ah, the same, 10.2. Sweet, 10.213. Absolutely sweet. What a beautiful, what a beautiful looking car. Absolutely beautiful. It looks so classy and look at that. It looks so classy and so beautiful. Beautiful. All right. So this is uh, the new opponent in class C. All right, so let's pick our next contender and then of course, uh, let's put the Catan as the new opponent. All right, so after the Catan, we have, 
Oh, this one is this one is sweet. It's not it's not really a star, but it's very sweet. It's called the Buick J GSX. Where's the Buick? Come on, where are you, Buick? It's called there's there is an H at the beginning of it, which I, I don't know how to pronounce, but yeah, here we go. It's called something H D J S S L K. I don't know how to pronounce it, but I'm gonna call the Buick GSX. Here we go. So the Buick GSX. Uh, is running with a 7.2 liter V8. Yes, my friends, a 7.2 liter V8. It's naturally aspirated also, and it's pushing 530 horsepower. And its all-wheel drive goes from zero to 100 in three point. Let's see, wait, three? What is what is that on my book? Yes, 3.1 second. Yes, 3.1 second. Now, as you can see, this this Buick GSX looks sweet actually i i like the body the stretched looking body we do have some uh, unique fixtures going on like a wheel wiper those small wheels who knows if these wheels i can actually put the power down i mean yes it's all wheel drive but who knows they look sweet uh, in automation in automation the paint looks amazing uh, you know it's really not bad it's really not that bad you know but who knows? It looks amazing. You have some nice, uh, you know, badges going on, nice fixtures there and there. So, yep. Let's see what's what. Let's of course put the new, the new of course uh, opponent, which is the Catan, so we can actually have a, a monster of a benchmark, you know, against us. So here we got a Catan against us. Let's see. Here we go, gentlemen. Whoa, this thing, this thing accelerates so crazy. Here we go. Oh my god, the Catan is way back. But the Catan is picking up. The Catan is picking up. Yeah, yeah, definitely. The Catan is definitely a faster car. Now, this Buick did 10.7 seconds. The Catan did, uh, you know, uh, 10.2. So the Catan definitely holds the holds the holds the crown. All right, so very very sweet. But let's do another one just, you know, to make it fair, to, so we can confirm the results and you know write the name down. Here we go. Just one more one more push. Yeah. I mean, this thing accelerates hard, but then, you know, it just... No, oh, there we go, 10.6, 10 10 not bad, not bad. What, what, was, what was the first run time? What was the first run? The same, 10.6? Well, I, I genuinely forgot. 10.6 or 10.7, the, the first run. Because I think this one is faster, 10.6, right? 10.7, the first one. Okay, thank you for letting me know. So yes, this one is definitely a faster run, 10.6, and I think this is the fastest, uh, you know, this is the fastest, you know, number this car can can do, I think, on the drag strip. So in the class C, the Buick, let me write it down. Uh, where is that? Where is that on my book? Where is that on my book? Here we go. I found it. Buick G S X did it in 10.6, 10.627. Okay. All right, not bad, not bad at all. But still, the Catan definitely is still holding the crown, which is absolutely superb. All right, let's get back to the start line. That was some nice flames. All right, let's try and do a donut with all-wheel drive. Come on, I think we can do that. Come on. Here we go. Not bad. This natural aspirate the engine is actually pushing some nice amount of torque. Sweet. All right, let's get back to the start line. All right, gentlemen. So after the Buick, uh, hello, hello, Mr. Kursar, hello, my friend. It's okay. You haven't really missed that much. So after the Buick, after the Buick GSX, we do have. Let's see. We do have a monster. I, I, I think. Yep. It's called the Liker, Liker Siege, Liker Siege. Let's see, where is the Liker Siege? It's in the L section. Where is the L section? L, L, L. Come on, where are you? 
how you like her. Is it here? Is it, is it even here? Alright, here we go. Liker Siege. Alright, here we go. So, the Liker Siege. Right. Let's see. Alright, so the Liker Siege is running with 500, 538 horsepower. That's my friends. 538 horsepower. 5.8 liter V8 turbo. It's also all wheel drive and it's, you know, goes from 0 to 100 in 3.1 seconds. Right now, as you can see, uh, the Liker Siege, you know, it's, which is uh, which is a very unique name. It's it looks looks like you know a compact muscle car. It's not really as as long when it comes to length as the previous one. It looks you know a little bit you know shorter wheelbase, which is not bad. We have some modern headlights, modern engine, modern basically everything. Even the looks is a little bit modern. Hello, Mr. Zappy. Hello, my friend. Thank you so much for joining the testing video for the Muscle Car Evolution Challenge. So this is the Liker Seed, as, as I mentioned. Uh, it's it's a, it's a really, I mean, on paper, this thing is absolutely sweet and powerful, but uh, who knows? Who knows how this thing, how these numbers on paper will translate on the drag strip against the Catan. So let's see what's what. Here we go. Let's see, is it manual? It's also the Here we go. Look at the Catan holding the crown 10.2. Alright, let's see if we can actually beat 10.2. Yep, class C, gentlemen, class C. Here we go. Oh, 10.3! Very close. Very, very, very close. 10.368. Very close, but the crown is still holding. Sorry, the Catan is definitely still holding the crown. All right, let's do another run so we can confirm that. So we started with 10.3. Okay, 10.3. Let's see, 10.3 to beat. still 10.3 i mean i got a little bit slower you know it's 10.31 something like this but still 10.3 i think this is this is as fast as it will actually you know go yes definitely the katan is definitely still holding the crown with 10.2 wow nothing so far is uh, you know is, is faster than the katan i mean this one got very close but this one can never can never actually beat that thing down all right yeah yeah definitely all right gentlemen so class c this is the fourth car which is the what was, what was the name of it it's called the liker yes like liker siege which is a very unique name for a car did it in 10.3 all right not bad at all not bad at all all right I mean, this one definitely shoots flames and it looks very, very modern compared to the Catan. But, you know, unfortunately, the Catan is definitely a winner. Overdrive magic. Alright, let's get back to the start line and see what, what, what other monsters we have lying around. Look at that Catan leaving with all of its glory. What a car, what an absolute monster. All right, here we go. Back to the start line. All right, after the Liker Siege, we have. Oh, okay. This one actually can be can be actually pretty sweet. So this one it's called the CM. Where's the CM? Here we go. It's called CM High Major. Yes, my friend. This thing it's called the CM High Major. is running with 504 horsepower. 7 liter V8 engine. It's naturally aspirated, it's rear wheel drive, and it's go it goes from 0 to 100 in 4.8 seconds. Now, as you can see, this thing is a, is a, is a, well, it's a stretch boy, as you can see. This thing is definitely a large four door car, which is, you know, which is really not bad. Uh, it has a powerful engine under the hood, 500 horsepower, it's rear wheel drive, and, well, who knows? Who knows how this, how these things will actually. How, how these numbers would actually, you know, translate on the drag strip. The car looks actually pretty sweet, very, very 1970s, which is very sweet, with some, you know, modern touch-ups there and there. 
and uh, you know a modern engine modern gearbox modern blah 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 so it's beautiful it's actually pretty sweet you know but it's not really a star i mean i really like it but you know it's it's good it's a good car but you know it's not really breathtaking you know supremely but you know it's very very sweet so let's take a let's let's have fun and see how this thing how how much how powerful this thing is on the dragster here you go so as you can see this thing is running with the dual clutch gearbox but it's only four speeds four speed dual clutch gearbox yes yes i know it's a unique combination but uh, who knows oh my goodness look at the katan oh god wow wow indeed wow indeed so we got demolished by the katan 11.5 man the katan is definitely a monster here well, your your comment, Mr. F5 Mr. got got flagged, but yeah, I understand definitely the the four speed, uh, you know, the four speed gearbox definitely killed it. Look at that! Look at that! Look! At, I mean, eleven point five again. Yeah, this thing, this thing. That, that that's that's the fastest this thing will ever go unfortunately yep uh, all right so let's write it down the cm high major here you go the cm high major did it in 11.5 all right not bad but the katan is definitely de definitely you know <laughs> you know a monster here nothing so far got faster than the katan Wow, you know the four speed. I think you know it was, wasn't really the best option. You know the four speed definitely is not really your best option here. I mean it's good, you know, for having fun for smoking the tires as you can see. But on the drag strip, no. Yep. All right, so let's get back to the start line and see what kind of a monster we have next. Very, very nice look so far. All the cars, I mean, no cars sucked so far. All of them are absolutely sweet, but the, but the Catan definitely is holding the crown. All right, gentlemen. So after the CM High Major, oh, we have a star. All right, gentlemen, we have another star. Let's see, it's called the Armor motors let's see where's the armor motors armor armor where are you it should be in the a section but i don't know i can't i can't find it street hawk where is it armor f it should be in, in the a in the a section armor motors street hawk ah oh, here we go ah oh, it's called resto mode oh, that's that explains it why is it down there okay so it's called the Armor Motors 72 Street Hawk. That's the name of it. Uh, this thing is running with 426 horsepower. Um, oh, I think this one should have been in the in the previous class. I think so. Hmm, I think this one should have been in the previous class. I think so. Oh no, no, no. because the previous class was below 350 horsepower. This one is above 350. This one is above 350. It's okay. It's okay. This one is above 350. So you know it's an, it's actually in the C class. Okay, okay. This thing this thing is definitely in the C class. So 426 horsepower, uh, 5.8 liter. Yes, my friends, 5.8 liter V8 turbo, pushing 426 horsepower. It's all-wheel drive, goes from zero to 100 in 3.8 seconds. All right. So as you can see, uh, this thing got a star. And I know, I know. At, at first glance, you think why the, why this thing is you know got a star. Well. When you, when, you, when you look at it closely, you see some great attention to details. I mean, let me show you. Let me show you some great things going on. I mean, because the sun, as you can see from this side, you can't really see it. Look at that. There's, there's Look at the badging on the side. Look at the attention to, de to details up front. Like, look, look at the grill, the shaker, hood scoop and everything. It looks absolutely superb. Oh, also, the rear, as you can see, I mean, check out the taillights. 
looks absolutely sweet. So yes, and yeah, I know we can see the um, we can see the uh, the hidden action in the trunk area, but still it looks absolutely sweet. But you know the color again, the color in DMNG definitely screwed up the design because in, in automation this thing looks absolutely sweet. In automation, oh, the paint just superb. But here it looks it uh, looks very very, you know, the paint here looks very crap. But still. Let's have fun and see how this thing will run. So this thing is all-wheel drive. That means uh, no, no crazy burnouts. But the co the cool thing, guys, the cool thing behind this car that it, this thing can actually do 20 mpg. I actually marked it down on my book. This thing can actually do 20 mpg with a twin turbo V8, all-wheel drive, big fat muscle car body, and it can do 20 mpg. So not bad, not bad at all. All right, let's see if we can actually get close to Catan or even Dreaming Cloud Destroying. Oh my god, the Catan is definitely a monster here. Oh my god. <laughs> so 11.8 or 11.7 actually. Wow, this thing, this thing actually is very slow compared to the all to all other cars oh my god this thing actually is very slow yeah all right let's try again let's try again definitely and see how, you know, just just for the sake of the of making it you know fair let's just try again and see if we can actually get faster car here we go so 11.75 we got a bit closer as you can see yeah but um, this thing is as as fast as it will ever go unfortunately I mean I like it so much but unfortunately it's not that fast so the armor here we go armor motors 72 something to Hawk got 11.75 hmm. not bad but also not good the Catan is definitely still holding the crown and holding the crown really 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 hard wow the Catan definitely is still a monster of a car here all right gentlemen a lot of people thought that you know all-wheel drive is good but turned out we will drive cars are a lot better on the drag strip a lot better all right so after the armor motors we have aha uh -huh, we have the cerberus here he goes the cerberus uh let's see cerberus 427 cyclone i think cyclone yeah Four, 427 cyclone all right let's see how this thing looks and let's see what kind of performance we have so the Cerberus 427 Cyclone is running with a 551 horsepower, 7 liter V8, it's naturally aspirated, and its rear-wheel drive goes from 0 to 100 in 3.9 seconds. No, no, Cyclone on my book. I don't know if I'm saying it wrong or not, but I don't know, it's called Cyclone. Anyway, it's the Cerberus. Anyway, it's, a, it's the Cerberus 427. So as you can see, this thing has a very, very unique uh, design. As you can see, uh, you know, it's not, it's not, you know, subtle. It's actually a bit crazy. We have some awesome, you know, racing lines going on, side exhaust, some carbon fiber fixtures there and there, big fat wheels, as you can see, and with a lot of vents, a lot of crazy things going on. It's really not bad. It's really, really not bad. Yep. All right, so let's see how this thing will run. Uh, as I mentioned, 551 horsepower. It's naturally aspirated, seven liter engine, and it's rear wheel drive. So hopefully this thing actually is a monster. Ah, yes, we can actually do a burnout, I think. Yep, we can actually do a burnout here. Ah, it's, uh, it's manual. 
All right, it's manual, so I don't know if we can actually beat that or not. Nope. Nope. Wow. Wow, 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 indeed. Not even close. Not even close. Man, not even close. All right, 10.8. Wow, okay, let's try let's try it one more time just to make it fair. .8 again man 11.8 again this thing is i mean i was really i really had some great hope for this thing but i mean on paper this thing sounds really good but uh, yeah on the drag strip well it's just just an embarrassment unfortunately i mean i like the crazy looks i like the crazy specs on paper but uh, compared to that compared to the katan this thing is not not even close 11 Point eight. It's cool. It's it's really it's really really cool, but it's not even as fast as the Catan. Nothing so far got fast with the Catan except for the Liker Seeds. That thing got really really close, but not as fast as the Catan. So after the Cerberus, we have ah oh, we have another we have we have two C classes left. So let's take a look and see what's left. Here we go. So after the uh, so after this one let's see what we have so after it we have it's called the fma where is the fma 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 am i am i, am I reading it correctly ah yes it's called the ah oh, here we go the fma this one the auto performance thumping okay so this thing it's called the fma moonshine express that's the name of it i'm not joking that 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 was the that's the real name that was given on this car it's called the fma moonshine express that's the that's the name of it as you can see even the ca even the camera got a bit drunk actually uh yeah even the camera actually got a bit drunk when i went when i mentioned the name but still uh, the moonshine express is running with 588 horsepower 7.4 liter v8 it's rear wheel drive and it goes from 0 to 100 in uh, let's see in four and a half seconds so it's really it's actually a bit quick as you can see it looks like a 1980s late 70s early 80s looking american beast as you can see which is uh, very unique i like i mean 80s american cars are not really that bad but uh, they actually look, look very cool so as you can see look at that front logo with the skull and everything those orange goldy looking rims so yeah, it's really, really, I, I want to say cool looking. I mean, we, we do have some awesome drag racing, you know, fixtures like the hood scoop, the massive hood scoop that, you know, represent a drag racer and some awesome fixtures there and there. So who knows? Let's see if this, if, let's see if this car actually can actually translate all that power to actual drag racing performance. And yes, you can see all the X's back there. So let's see what's what. go that should got it come on oh, oh my goodness look at that 11 and a half wow nothing so far is nothing so far de de destroyed that katan that katan is just mocking everyone that katan is just mocking everyone nothing can beat this thing so far oh my god all right let's try again it's 11 11 11.5 to beat let's try again
Oh, I got, oh my god, I got a bit slower. So 11.5 then. So 11.5, 11.5 for the Moonshine Express. Here we go. Moonshine. It's a lot of X's. Press. Here we go. 11.5. Well, that, that was the quickest time that we got with the Moonshine Express. And so far, the Catan is still holding the crown. Alright, not bad actually. Not bad for doing J-turns actually. Let's try again. Yep, not bad for doing J-turns actually. So this is the Moonshine then, the Moonshine Express, that, that, a, bit, a very very cool looking drag racer but unfortunately the performance is not really as good as it as the looks. I really like the looks, it looks very funky, very very you know tough, look at me, I'm a drag racer but you know on you know on, on the road the performance is not really as, as, as crazy as the looks. This thing definitely deserves a, 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 a more powerful engine. To, to represent the looks or you can remove the scoop make it look like a, a beautiful 1980s car and then the performance will match the looks but right now the performance is definitely not matching the looks at all <laughs> right all right but really really nice work i really like the crazy 80s looks but you know you definitely need to, to do something about the performance my friend all right, so let's get back to the start line and let's see what kind of a monster we have next. All right, so after the Moonshine Express, we have the final car in the Class C. Let's see if we can actually destroy the Catan or not. So the final car in the Class C, it's called the Hawk MSC. Here we go. The Hawk MSC, another 1980s looking American car. Uh, so the the Hawk MSC Moderno, that's the name of it, which is I don't know, it's, I don't know if it's Italian for modern or not, but it's called the MSC um, the Hawk Moderno. So 585 horsepower, seven liter twin turbo V8. Its all-wheel drive goes from zero to 100 in 3.8 seconds. Now I know what you are thinking. Yes, there are some uh, some unique smileys going on like on the roof and also on the hood some unique looking smiley faces I mean this one I think this one is wearing a hat maybe this one is happy this smiley so yeah anyway so it's all the drive MSC modern or something so let's see how this thing will actually how, how this thing will actually perform so here we go let's see if we can actually smoke the Catan or not. Come on! Oh man, the Catan is definitely a monster. 11.2. Wow. Oh, let's try again. So 11.2. we got something good here so 11 exactly here we go a good time now here we go 11 dead 11.0 good good number indeed doing 125 miles per hour all right that is not bad at all but look look at the katan doing 131 miles per hour 
Amazing. Okay, so that's a good run, I think. So the final card's called the uh, Hawk M S C. Um, whatever, Moderno. This thing ran 11.0, and that means the Catan is the Class C, uh, you know, winner or Class C president or Class C, you know, crown holder. Very, very, very nice work for the Catan creator. Absolutely a monster. This thing destroyed absolutely every single, C, you know, Class C card. This thing destroyed them all. And I really mean all. The Class C thing, indeed. All right, gentlemen, we finished from the Class C. Now, of course, we'll be moving on to Class, uh, I think, B. Yep, Class B. Now, the Class B is definitely running with real monsters. So prepare myself, gentlemen. Prepare, prepare yourself, gentlemen. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nice work, Mr. Spice. This is your car? Whoa, that, ex that, that explains a lot. That explains a lot, my friend. Very, very nice work indeed. Absolutely spot on. This thing destroyed absolutely everything in Class C. Sweet, sweet, sweet indeed. All right, gentlemen. So let's move on with Class number B, or Class B, actually, and see what's what. Here we go. Here we go. Move on to the, to the starting line. And let's see what kind of a Class B monsters we have. All right, we do have some nice monsters. So starting in the class B. All right, gentlemen, now the card that you will be seeing right now is a star. This thing took a star next to it because it's a, it's a proper, beautiful card, a real beauty. It's called the Nemesis GT. Yes, my friends, the Nemesis GT. Where is the Nemesis? A beautiful monster, a monster, absolutely sweet, sweet looking thing. Very, very modern and very classy at the same time. A very very unique configuration so um, not really a wagon no but uh, yeah take a look gentlemen this is the nemesis GT yes my friends the nemesis GT 4.8 liter twin turbo v8 running with 610 horsepower yes my friends 610 horsepower it's all-wheel drive goes from 0 to 100 in 3.2 seconds look at that look at that beast of a car it looks absolutely superb it's modern and classy at the same time i mean really a work of art i really like this thing that's why this thing took a star next to it because it definitely deserves a star look at that all right gentlemen so let's take it for a spin on the drag strip obviously to see how this thing will run. Do you think, do you think, gentlemen, this thing will destroy the Catan? What do you think? Place your bets, gentlemen. Place your bets. Do you think we can, we'll be destroying the Catan with this one? Or do you think the Catan will hold against other B-class cars? What do you think, gentlemen? Where are the specs? Uh, the specs of this, my friend, is a 610 horsepower twin turbo V8, and it's all-wheel drive with 3.2 seconds from 0 to 100. All right, so a lot of you guys uh, are saying, uh, let's see. So Mr. F5 Twister says the Catan will, obl will obliterate it. Okay, that's a vote for the Catan. Another vote by Mr. B, and I think he destroyed me too. Okay. All right, so two vo three votes actually that the Catan will hold, one vote that the Catan will not hold. So let's see. Come on. Oh yeah. Wow. Oh yes, indeed. So the Catan, my time with the Catan was 10.2. This thing is 10.7. Oh, oh, look at that. Near, nearly 10.8, but still 10.7. Wow. How's that possible? This Catan is definitely a monster. Okay, let's try again. Let's try and launch it really hard this time. Ah, 
crap, look at that. So yeah, 10.7. This thing definitely, wow, the Class B starter, the Nemesis GT. <laughs> wow, wow, Mr. Swazi, your car is definitely holding up. All right, so the first car in the Class B got obliterated by the Class C, <laughs> a Class C car. All right, here you go, see, Nemesis, let me write it down, Nemesis. GT reminds me with the Resident Evil movie, the Nemesis, Nemesis project. Anyway, so the Nemesis GT got 11, 10.7. That was the quickest time, or 10.799, actually, to be fair. All right, all right. So here we go. The, the, the Nemesis definitely looks amazing. Another star, actually, uh, same as the Catan. The Catan is a star, and uh, this thing is another star. All right, gentlemen, let's get back to the start line and see what kind of monsters we have next. What order are you going in? Random order? No, according to my book order, not random order, according to my book order. All right, so after the Nemesis GT, which is a B-class car, let's see, after that we have the Karma uh, Hellhound. That's the name of it, the Karma Hellhound. Here we go. So the Karma Hellhound is another B-class car and it's another star of the show because it looks absolutely superb. I mean, really amazing. Look at that. Let me show it to you. So this is the Karma Hellhound, as you can see. This thing is running with a 616 horsepower, 6.6 .6 liter V8. It's naturally aspirated V8. It's rear-wheel drive, 3.8 seconds from 0 to 100. Look at that. Look at that. Side exhaust love, nice livery, nice uh, badges on the side. Great looking rear end, as you can see. Amazing. Yeah, a lot of sixes with this thing. A lot of sixes. All right. So let's take it for a spin on the drag strip. And see what's what. See what's what. Ah, it's it's. Oh my God, it's manual gearbox. Oh yes, it's a manual gearbox. So, yes, it's good. It's really fun because it's manual. But yeah. Yeah. Finally. 10.5 all right now that's a that's a that's a very fast time but still not even as fast as the Catan. i mean it's a, it's a very fast number for a manual drag racer so far but not as fast as the Catan. man let's try again right, this time i'll try to launch it extremely hard come on come on 10.5 again wow amazing i mean i love both of them because both of them are stars I mean, this one is just beautiful. This Karma Hellhound is definitely a fast monster, but it's it's really not as fast as the Catan. Let's see what was the ex guys, guys, guys. Just just to make it fair, just to just to remind you, the Catan, the one that 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 is destroying everything so far, is running with only 495 horsepower. 495 horsepower. 5 liter V8. It's rear wheel drive, and it's destroying everything. This Catan. I mean. 495 horsepower obliterated a 616 horsepower vehicle which is the one that we were driving yep yep i don't i, I don't believe that but uh, i saw that with my own eyes so i have to believe that the karma hell hound got obliterated by a 495 horsepower car wow wow indeed all right, so 10.5, which is the fastest time with the Hellhound, 10.57. All right, 
Very, very nice, nice number, but so far, a, a class C car is destroying a class B car. <laughs> or two, actually. Alright, I love the Hellhound. It looks absolutely superb. Very, very aggressive. Very sweet. Very, very muscly. And the 616 horsepower. I mean, yes, it, it, even if it's not the fastest thing here, it's, I mean, the number is just beautiful. Look at that. Yeah, the Catan definitely it was tuned very very nicely. All right, so that's a that's a beautiful thing to drive. This thing is so much fun, and I love this thing. The Nemesis and the Karma and the Catan. These three cars are very very awesome. All right, let's get back to the start line and let's see what is our next victim. Yep, definitely the gearing and the weight definitely helps so hard with these things. All right, let's see what we have next. So after the after the Karma Hellhound, we have... Oh yes, now we are getting serious with the power. Finally, we are getting into the serious, serious powerhouses here. So the next card is called the Envoy something. Where is the Envoy? Envoy, E, E. Envoy. Where is the E? Where is the E? A, E, C, E, E. Here we go. The Envoy 73. Here we go. So my friends, the Envoy, um, I don't know how to pronounce it, it's called the Glen Glendale, I think. So the Envoy Glendale Stroker, that's the name of it, the Glendale Stroker. Uh, the Envoy Glendale Stroker is running with a 688 horsepower. Yes, my friends, 688 horsepower, 5.8 liter V8 turbo. It's real drive, but you know, the, the 0 to 100 time is a bit slow, which is 4.3 seconds. Now, yeah, the Envoy. So yeah, I mean, uh, it looks it looks very classy, but with modern touch-ups. Like, look look at the headlights, very modern, but still maintaining its beautiful, classy, but you know, body style. Even even the rims are like screaming, "Look at me, I'm a muscle car." Look at the rims, absolutely beautiful. Love the GT line on the side, the rear logo. It's very 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 classy. So what do you think, gentlemen? Six hundred and eighty-eight horsepower versus 495 horsepower what do you think will the Catan hold the crown or will the uh, will the of course the the envoy will take the crown what do you think gentlemen place your bets place your bets gentlemen place your bets Catan or Envoy? Come on, what do you think? This is the Envoy. That over there is the Catan. So, so far, <laughs> so far, two votes for the Catan. Wow. Wow, no hope whatsoever for the for the Envoy. Okay, let's see. Oh, for God's sake. Come on. Gearing is crap. This thing. Why is the first gear so so long? Oh man, the first gear was so long. Eleven point six nine. Look at that, mocking us. Eleven point six nine. How is that possible? Eleven point six nine. Wow. <laughs> My God, eleven point six six nine with this thing. I just can't believe it. Six hundred and eighty horsepower got obliterated by that because it has 
crappy gearing unfortunately and it's very very heavy that's why even with 688 horsepower it's not even enough to go down the quarter mile faster than that thing because that katana was tuned so nicely the gearing the gearing the lightweight body definitely helped so much wow wow indeed so the envoy got destroyed so hard unfortunately the envoy stroker went down the quarter mile in 11.6 which is very 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 slow unfortunately i was really looking forward to be as a little bit faster yeah but yeah as you can see it's not really that good unfortunately all right gentlemen so let's see what we have next so after the uh, so after the uh what do you call it after the the envoy stroker which is which is you know wasn't really brilliant unfortunately but let's see let's see what we have next okay just a moment gentlemen just a moment Alright gentlemen, let's continue. So, um, sorry about that. So let's see, after the Envoy, let's see what kind of a B-class monsters we have, we, we have because we still have a long list. Alright gentlemen, so let's get back to the starting line. This thing went to reverse suddenly. suddenly. What's wrong with the gearbox? Anyway, so let's get back to the start line and see what's what. Here we go. So after the... Alright gentlemen, so after the Envoy we have a star, alright? We have a star gentlemen, a B star class, it's called... Um, yes, I mean, it's a star because it was inspired by a movie car. But let's see, here we go, it's called the Muscle Champ General Key, that's the name of it. And you might know which, which movie or which TV show this thing was inspired from. Let's see what's what. Yes, the general key. All right, gentlemen. So as you can see, this is the the uh, what called the uh, um, what is that on my book? Yes, the muscle champ. That's the name. Wait, this thing's called the muscle champ uh, general key. This thing got a star, obviously, you know, for for its crazy looks. And this thing is running, and now we actually got serious with the power yes now we are serious i mean come on now we should actually see some real action because the you know because the muscle champ is running with 790 horsepower yes my friends 790 horsepower using a 10.7 liter natural aspirated v8 it's all-wheel drive zero to 100 oh my god in 2.3 seconds 2.3 seconds from 0 to 100. Natural aspirated 10.8 liter V8. 10.7 liter, sorry, 790 horsepower. Yes, my friends, 10.3 seconds from 0 to 100. So, and have you seen the engine cover? Okay, come on, have you seen the engine cover? Yeah, that is beautiful. All right. So, place your bets. Place your bets, gentlemen. Let's see, is it all-wheel drive or rear-wheel drive? I forgot. I think this is this is all-wheel drive. Yeah, all-wheel drive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Well, let's see what kind of. Wow! Now people actually start to lose faith in the Catan. Except Mr. Tofik. Mr. Tofik, he, he still he still believes in the in the katan. Okay. Let's see. Manual gearbox. And I missed the gear. Whoa! Yeah! Wow, and I actually missed a gear. I actually missed a gear 9.8 seconds and i missed a gear i promise you guys i missed it i was looking at something else and i let the engine rev a little bit you know at the red line so yeah let's uh, let's <laughs> let's try again 
and see the real number. So 9.8 is the, is the time to beat so far. Ah, it's all the drive. I always keep forgetting. Okay. So 9.8 to beat. And let me go this side of this thing. Ah, same time, 9.8. So missing a gear is not really a bad thing with this thing. All right, so, wow, we have a new star, gentlemen. 9.8, the muscle champ. Okay, the muscle champ. 9.8 seconds from zero to a hundred. All right, not bad, not bad at all. Not bad at all, doing 139 miles per hour. All right, gentlemen, so the Catan is gone. I mean, definitely, the Catan definitely put on a great show. The Catan definitely destroyed so many cars. But uh, yeah, definitely, this, this, the Catan is definitely a strong fighter. It, it was definitely tuned perfectly because, remember, it's only 495 horsepower. But it was a, a tough, tough fighter. Very, very, very nice work, definitely, for the Catan. And, you yeah, know, good work, Mr. Spazi. But definitely the muscle champ with all of its power, uh, you know, raw power because it's naturally aspirated and because it's all-wheel drive. But remember, it's manual gearbox. The muscle champ is manual. So there is actually a, li a little delay, you know, shifting the gear. So we might actually destroy the muscle champ if, if, we, if we see an another car with like a dual clutch or even a sequential. So who knows? All right, gen so, all right, gentlemen. So let's move on with the next car, but with a new opponent which is the muscle champ. All right. Oh, Mr. 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 Mixer, Mr. Mixer forever. You will be seeing that later on. Something, a number, an, a, a, a big fat number that I never thought that I'll be seeing in this challenge, but I saw that and you'll be definitely seeing that number so it's so large no not even close to 1360 no not even close to 1360 it's even it's a lot more a lot more all right so after the muscle champ we have let's see what we have next so after the muscle champ uh we have ah it's called the TMC. Where's the TMC? TMC, TMC, where are you? Here we go. TMC Jacksonville. I think that's, that, I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. So the TMC Jax, Jacksonville, yes, Jacksonville uh, Beast. Yeah. 638 horsepower. It's my friends. 638 horsepower. 7 liter twin turbo V8. It's all the drive, 3 seconds from zero to a hundred so as you can see it looks you know good it's not really that bad I mean uh, we have some nice looking you know rear end I mean the badge it's definitely beautiful I like the badge it's so you know beautiful it's not really that bad uh, the tail lights are a bit special we have some uh, thick defrost lines for some reason and um, side pipe exhaust in modern ish rims with modern materials small sunroof and you know a modern ish looking front end which is uh, cool actually it's not really that bad all right so let's see what what's what this as i mentioned this thing is running with a 638 horsepower 7 liter twin turbo v8 and it's all wheel drive i think yes it's all wheel drive here we go let's turn off dash control and uh, let's select the muscle champ as our new opponent and let's see what's what the gen t will hold mr b this thing is yo this this thing is dual clutch guys this thing is dual clutch and i think it's a bit lighter so what do you think what do you think gentlemen what do you think the jacksonville or the muscle champ the muscle champ yes it's more powerful yes it's big but remember it's manual this thing is running with a dual clutch 638 horsepower so let's see all right here we 
go. Whoa, look at that! Wow, I'm... Wow, I'm actually surprised! 10 seconds! Whoa, 10 seconds! Not bad, not bad at all! Not bad at all! Wow, I'm I'm actually I'm actually surprised. So yes, it's it's very close actually. It's very very close to the to the muscle champ. Not bad at all. All right, let's try again and let's try and launch it really hard and try to destroy this number. I know I know I can switch it to manual mode, but keep it in automatic will you know will will have better chance for me not to screw up a gear you know. Because the computer will, you know, or the ECU or, you know, BMG will shift it exactly on the best torque point, you know. Because if I if I went to the manual mode, I will just shift it as high on the RPM range as possible. But when I keep it in automatic sport mode, the game will shift it on, on the perfect torque point. Yeah. So, yeah, definitely keeping it in automatic mode is, is the best thing you want on a drag, on the drag strip, you know, on BMG. Really? Really muscle chap? You don't want to race? <sighs> what a stupid AI. Alright, let's try again. Definitely an idiot. Here we go. Let's try again and la let's launch it as crazy as possible. Here we go. I mean, the suspension is so soft. Look at that, just bounces up and down. Look at that! Very, 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 very close to get into, into the 9 seconds. Very, very close to get to the 9 seconds. Wow! I mean, this thing is, I mean, very, very close to get to the 9 seconds. But, no. Yeah, just, just by 0.18, yeah. Absolutely a monster. I, li I love this thing so much because it's it's definitely very 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 surprising absolutely supremely surprising so mr mr hawkins mr hawk hawkness hawkins hello my friend so you mentioned that i tried the hawk moderno yes i actually tried it so the hawk uh, moderno did 11.0 11.0 my friend the hawk uh, moderno msc yeah this one did 10.039 wow all right, so let's write it down. This thing, let's see, what's the name of this thing? It's called TMC, TMC Jacksonville, Jackson, here we go, Jacksonville, did 10.039, wow, what a monster indeed. I mean, the Muscle Champ is definitely, is definitely still holding the crown, but this thing is definitely very, very, very close to it, amazing. Beautiful. All right, gentlemen, let's let's move let's get back to the starting line and let's see let's see what we have next. All right, so after the, the Jacksonville, after the Jacksonville TMC, we have, let's see. All right, we have two cars left, my friends. Two cars left in the B class, two cars. Let's start with this one. It's called the Rancho um, something, Co Co Cordova, something like this. Let's see, it's called the Rancho. Where's the R? Rancho, Rancho, where are you? Here we go. Rancho Cordo Cordova, 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 something like this. All right, so this thing is definitely very, very, very unique looking. I mean, absolutely, extremely unique looking. Just take a look at it. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely very unique looking beast. 
So, the Rancho Cordova is running with 691 horsepower, 8.3 liter V8, naturally aspirated. Its all-wheel drive goes from 0 to 100 in 3.8 seconds. This stuff actually looks very, very sweet, very, very 1950s, which is very awesome. I like it. It's really awesome, actually. It looks very, very sweet. It's a very powerful, big, fat engine under the hood. So who knows what kind of craziness we'll be seeing here. So place your bets, gentlemen. Place your bets, gentlemen. The wagon or the rancho against the muscle champ. What do you think? Oh, it's manual. Okay, it's manual gearbox. You have to be careful. No! Wow. Okay. Wow. So, okay, this thing, this thing, this thing launch really 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 hard but the short gearing the the weight of it definitely killed it really hard after the launch hmm. but unfortunately this rancho wagon it's not really as crazy as the muscle champ absolutely not even close to that This thing is definitely a monster when it comes to launch, as I mentioned. But unfortunately, after that, it's it's just downhill. So, I mean, really, very, very nice work on the Rancho. Very, very beautiful. But, uh, you know, after the launch, it's just downhill. So let's try again for the sake of, you know, you know making it fair. Awesome. Here we go. Sorry about that. Let me take a sip of tea first because my throat starts to give up. Here we go. All right. Mint and tea. Here we go. Really? All right. So, oh my God, the AI definitely is like a pain in the back sometimes. on AI we want to launch it come on dude wow yeah 11.5 again so unfortunately that's that for the rancho ran show um, the rancho did and 11 sorry 11.5 not super fast but not really super exciting also 11.5 yeah definitely yeah and then you know after the launch it's just really downhill all right gentlemen let's see what we have next 11.5 on the rancho not bad, but also not that great. Great. Ooh, look at that. Even the brakes are not that, you know, impressive. Feels very heavy. The suspension feels from the 1950s. Yeah, definitely. The suspension definitely feels from the 1950s. Definitely. Look at that. Yeah, definitely. This, this thing is a heavy monster. This thing is really heavy. Alright, so after the Rancho, let's see what we have next. So after the Rancho, 
now we need to try the final B class car. The final gentleman, the final B B class car, which is called the the I don't know how to pronounce this. The Rager, the Rageri, the Rag the, Rag the Rageri something evil evolution, whatever. So let's see what's what. So the the Rageri, the Rageri evolution, whatever the name of it, is a 666 horsepower. 8 liter V8, naturally aspirated, it's rear wheel drive and goes from 0 to 100 in 4.7 seconds. Now, as you can see, it's um, it's a cool looking car. I'm not saying it's a bad looking car, it's a cool looking car with some unique fixtures there and there, but uh, it's like a mix between you know, classy. Uh, classic 60s cars, classic you know 80s car fixtures, and some modern fixtures. I mean, it's not really that bad, but it's not really that brilliant, also. But who knows? Let's see. It's real drive, so yeah. And it's and it's manual, I think. Yeah, it's manual. So who knows? All right, be before I stage, what do you think, gentlemen? What do you think? Oh, that was close. What do you think, gentlemen? Muscle charm? The general will win. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Very, very long gearing. Very. Oh, very, very long gearing. Very. Look at that. 11.0. Oh. Yep. 11.0. Oh. Let's try again. Let's, let's try to get it into the 10.9. If we can get it into the tens, it will be awesome. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Don't, okay, as you can see, look at that. 10.8. Yeah, that is a huge improvement, as you can see. Instead of 11.0, 10.8. All right, that's not bad. 10.8 is actually a quick number. Definitely a quick number. All right, gentlemen, and that is, that is all for the B class. That is all for the B class, gentlemen. The Ragari, the Ragari, whatever the hell the name of it. The Ragari Evo scored, as you can see, 10.8. Not bad at all. And that means the Muscle Champ General Key is the winner of the Class B, gentlemen. Yes, my friends, the Class B winner is the Muscle Champ uh, General Key. Very, very, very nice work, my friends, indeed. All right, now we move on. To the serious stuff the class a the monsters the crazy beasts of cars so let's get back to the start line and see what you guys have submitted for the class a i really don't know but we will be seeing that all right gentlemen so the first class a contender it's called the 1970, the 1970s uh, Mercury Cougar uh, replica-ish. So let's see. Here we go. The 1970s Mercury Cougar Resto mod. All right. Let's see what's what. All right, gentlemen. So the first contender in the class A is called the Mercury Q, uh, 1970 Mercury Q Cougar uh, Rep Resto mod. This thing is running with a 5-liter twin-turbocharged V8, 
910 horsepower it's all the drive goes from 0 to 100 in 3 seconds yes my friends 910 horsepower all wheel drive 3 seconds from 0 to 100 as you can see this thing looks like the real deal like the real 1970s cougar it's a real monster you know it looks it looks very stock from the outside but everything is absolutely superbly modernized and sweet underneath so what do you think gentlemen the champ or the general versus the cougar what do you think gentlemen general or cougar what do you think general the orange one or the cougar what do you think place your bets all right two votes oh four votes for the cougar wow people actually lost lost believe lost all their beliefs with the, with the with the champ or with the general well my friends better luck with the Oh crap, oh, got, got disqualified. All right, I think I was I was a bit I was a bit enthusiastic with the, with the launch because I always want to try to get the best launch, the best one, like a really really crazy reaction. All right, but I can already tell that the the, the, the acceleration is just brutal with this thing. Yeah, look at that! Wow, what what was the time with the uh, with the champ? Nine point eight. This one is nine point. Whoa, barely. Yeah, wow. So so the champ or the general actually, yeah, nine point eight six. This is nine point eight four. wow indeed wow absolutely crazy so yes we actually demolished the general 9.84 all right let's let's do another run to make sure that everything is is fair and awesome here we go Yeah, as you can see, we got a bit slower. So yeah, we got a bit slower. So 9.84 for the Cougar. All right, not not a bad start. Not a bad start actually. Yeah, not a bad start indeed for the Cougar. All right, 1970 Mercury Cougar equals 9.8. Four. really cool actually so, all right so we have a new opponent so look at that so actually the general didn't destroy any a-class car i mean it got it, this, the general got very very close to destroy a class a car with 900 horsepower but yeah definitely the power took off at the end all right so let's get back to the start line picking our cougar as our new opponent and see what's what. Here we go, gentlemen. So after the Cougar, let's see what we have. So after the Cougar, we have a star of the show called VDM. Where's the VDM? Oh yeah, that's the one. Oh yeah. Oh yes, now we are definitely definitely getting into the monsters definitely we are getting into the monsters now all right gentlemen so this is the vdm uh, barracuda that's the name of it this thing got a star because i mean just look at it it looks absolutely amazing very very beautiful looks very very classy very am amazing attention to, to details look at that it's just curb as you can see in every single way so the vdm barracuda 
is running with 8.1 liter twin turbo V8, pushing, and I'm not joking, 1,400 horsepower. Yes, my friends, 1,400 horsepower. It's all wheel drive and 2.7 seconds from zero to 100. This beautiful Lincoln or Cadillac or whatever body this thing, it looks absolutely superb. 1,400 horsepower. What a monster indeed. All right, let's take it for a spin against the Cougar. But obviously the Cougar is our new opponent. Yeah. Before we start, place your bets, gentlemen. The Cougar versus the Barracuda. What do you think? Or the VDM, VDM. So what do you think, gentlemen? The Cougar versus the Barracuda or the VDM. What do you think? All right. Two votes for the VDM. Three votes. All right, gentlemen, three votes. Oh, four votes. Okay, four votes for the VDM. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh my god, where, where, where's the cougar? Instant kill. Oh, oh, oh. Instant kill, 9.1. And it was so smooth. So beautiful. I mean, the smoothest 9.1 seconds run I've ever seen in my life. Wow, 9.1, the smoothest, the cleanest, the, the most flawless. Amazing. Wow, 9.1 seconds. Let's try again, 153 miles per hour, wow. Look at that! Oh, 9.2. We got we got a bit slower. So, still 9.1 seconds. The quickest time with the VDM Barracuda. I mean, what a monster! What an absolute monster! The VDM Barracuda. All right, Barracuda. This thing did 9.1 seconds. Wow, what a monster indeed. And that means the Barracuda will be our new opponent, our new AI opponent. All right, very, very nice work indeed. Definitely a star because it looks absolutely stunning. And well, the performance is just as good as, as the looks as well. Look at that. What's really, I, what, what I really love about the VDM Barracuda that, it, as you can see, look at that. Look at that, you can actually put it in automatic mode. It will get very, very quiet. Look at that, just, 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 just look at that. You can, you can drive it like a real Cadillac, look at that. Hello Mr. Brick, hello my friend, look at that. So you can put it in automatic. You can enjoy a smooth, quiet run, look at that. I mean, how brilliant is that? And of course, when you put your foot down, what a monster indeed. Very very nice work indeed for the for the VD, for the VDM creator. Absolutely superb. All right. So after the VDM, what we have next is the oh yeah. I don't know. If, I don't know if I should test this right now. I'm gonna leave this at till the end. I, I'm gonna leave this car till the end because if I test this this thing right now, 
yeah people will not really be happy about it because yeah it's so it's like a monster really so i'm gonna leave it till the end all right so the next a-class car it's called it's another star also it's called the magnum opossum v2 where is the magnum opossum magnum ah uh, here we go the magnum opossum v2 road trip wagon thing and it looks beautiful actually got a star because it is just beautiful and crazy looking wagon i mean really crazy looking wagon as you can see it takes forever to load because it's just full of fixtures just look at it <laughs> just look at this thing absolutely amazing look at that it's just your typical family wagon but you know with a monster engine up front and a flame throwing exhaust I, I, I really cannot wait. I really cannot wait for automation developers to release the superchargers because, I mean, come on. Come on, drag racing, superchargers, this is just how it is. All right, so let's see. So this thing, uh, so this beautiful monster here, the, the Magnum Opossum V2 is running with 1,016 horsepower, eight liter V8 turbo, and we will rear wheel drive 4.6 seconds from 0 to 100. Yes, my friends, rear wheel drive. All that power goes to the rear wheel drive. Oh, yeah. That is going to be absolutely crazy. So let's put the VDM our uh, as our new opponent. There we go. VDM as our new opponent. And let's start driving. So, gentlemen, what do you think? 1,000... What is wrong with the Beam NG? So what do you think gentlemen? Barracuda? Oh yes, a lot of you a lot of you guys are saying VDM, VDM, Barracuda. Wow, okay. Oh no! First gear is so heavy. Oh, you, you gotta be kidding me. Nope, that is that is not brilliant at all. Let's try again. I missed a gear and it was... It was crap. I, I don't know what's wrong with Beam NG. Look, look, at, look at the gauges, guys. Look at the gauges. Look at that. I th guys, I think we need to reload the map again. I, guys, I, I think we need to reload the map again because, I mean, the gauges and everything is not really moving as it should be because, I don't know why, because maybe we, we've been re reloading cars a lot and uh, the gauges are not really, I mean, not really moving with the noises of the car. I mean, I'm this gear because it's not really moving with the noise of the engine it's not really moving with the rpm of the engine correctly all right here we go so we loaded everything let's select our victim first which is the vdm as an opponent and uh, then we select our magnum opossum try again here we go as you can see everything is smooth all right so the magnum opossum let's try again now now, yes, I know it will not really be a winner here, the, Mag the Magnum Apostle, but at least I want to drive it in uh, the way it was meant to be driven, you know. So, let's see. Oh, crap, first gear is so heavy. It's very... Oh, my God, it's so freaking heavy i mean this thing this thing is running with a 1000 well, 1000 horsepower engine and it's so heavy it's barely 
moving, barely moving. So 11.785, gentlemen, 11.785 for the Magnum Opossum. Magnum Opossum V2. This thing did it in 11.7. I mean, this, this thing is by, by far the slowest class A car ever because I mean, unfortunately this thing is so heavy absolutely heavy yes it looks amazing yes i know it says click bait at, at, at the window which is very sweet but i mean yes i love the whole idea of you know uh, bags and boxes and cargo these things i know how much how much time this these things took in automation game to be made but i mean it looks amazing i know that but on the drag strip it's not really moving at all I mean, it feels like a family car Too much luggage indeed, yeah. I mean, as a family car, this thing would be absolutely amazing. Look at that. I mean, it's it's rear-wheel drive, but it's not really spinning the tires too much because it's so heavy. Look at that. It's not it's not really I mean this thing doesn't feel like a thousand horse. It, look at that. even the brakes are fading because that's not even moving because it's so heavy freaking heavy I mean this thing is by far super heavy I think this is the heaviest car we have here amazing yeah flip it on its roof take the luggage off it will be absolutely super light all right so after the Magnum Opossum I mean I really love the Magnum Opossum but it's not really as fast as I was anticipating so better luck next time my friend all right, gentlemen, so after the Magnum Opossum, we have the Cerbro Resto mod. Where is the Cerbro? Cerbro, Cerbro. Ah, here we go. A very, 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 very special looking beast. A very, very special looking car, gentlemen. So prepare yourself, yourself, because, I mean, it is just absolutely superb. Just look at that. Just look at that. First of all, no one is driving, so don't panic. But, I mean, it looks absolutely amazing. So, what we have here is the Cerbro Resto mod. A class A monster, basically. 1,255 horsepower. 8.8 liter. V8 turbo, it's always drive 2.2 seconds from 0 to 100 and obviously it's a star of the show, obviously, because look at it, it's an absolute monster, amazing looks, amazing, look at that, I mean, how can you say, no? how can you say no to that? gentlemen so prepare yourselves but before before we begin place your bets gentlemen place your bets the VDM versus the um, the Cerbro what do you think the Subro the Subro sorry what do you think gentlemen Alright, so what we have one vote for the VDM, one vote for this for the Subro. Alright, so two votes for the Subro then, one vote for the VDM. Alright, let's see. Whoa! Oh my goodness! This, what the hell was that? What 
in God's name is that? Eight seconds. Eight. Annihilated, obliterated, completely demolished the VDM. Completely. Wow. Oh my goodness. Eight. Look at that. 175 miles per hour. 175 miles per hour. Definitely took a screenshot because, wow. Oh my lord. This thing is just. I mean, this thing is a convertible. We have an entertainment system. We have nice interior. We have safety. We have good suspension. We have brakes that actually works. And eight seconds. I mean, this is not a racing car. This is a street car with safety, uh, entertainment system, good interior, good comfy suspension. Wow. Hey, can you imagine sitting in that convertible? You know, the, the, roof, the roof is down. You know, the windows are down and doing eight seconds at 175 miles per hour. Yeah, Mr. Drunk. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, let's 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 do another run and see what's what. Yeah, I think they will never allow it. It's against every single rule in the drag strip, in the drag racing book. You know what? You know what? One more last time, but this time, I'm gonna I'm gonna try one special thing. I th I think I think I can get it faster. Just 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 bear with me. Just bear with me one moment. Just bear with me. I think I can try something here. May maybe it will get faster. Maybe not. Who knows? Nope, 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 nope. So, you know, eight seconds, that is the fastest time this thing will get. Wow, eight seconds exactly for this for this monster. This called the Subaru, 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 uh, Resto Mod. I mean, this thing is definitely a Resto monster. Resto Mod, this thing did exactly eight seconds. Wow, eight seconds exactly how fast is that 8.08 8. .08, 8 .8 seconds it's, it's still pretty much the same wow all right all right what a monster indeed so let's get back to the start line and let's see if we can actually destroy this time or not but obviously the the, the Cerbero is definitely now our new opponent because it's the fastest one so far all right gentlemen so let's see what we have next uh, let's see I mean yes uh, the body style you know because in automation game you know, it's not allowed to pick a convertible body but I mean come on when I saw this thing I couldn't resist because basically it's a star I mean even the guys and well the girls that were actually you know judging with me when they saw that thing I mean they were just like oh my god you have to put it in you have to put it in because I mean first of all in automation you can't open the roof second of all he actually the creator actually did a brilliant job because we have as you can see we have into we have good seats and the interior looks actually good it doesn't mean it doesn't really look bad from the inside so I mean when they saw that they said no keep it please keep it because it looks absolutely sweet so just beautiful. What? Saved on what? Saved what? Anyway, so um, gentlemen, as you can see, we finished from this Subro, Subro, Subro Resto mod, which is amazingly powerful and fast. Now let's see what we have next. The next A class. How many A classes do we have? We have, I think, we have around four A classes left, maybe. So let's see, the next A-Class monster, it's called, oh, oh, oh yeah, 
Oh yeah. The first egg class monster is called the Padilla. Padilla tape Taipan, Taipan, something like this. So where's the Padilla thing? Where's the Padilla? The Padilla, whatever the hell the name of it. Padilla. Ah, here we go. The Padilla, Padilla Taipan. Whatever. So let's take a look. Let's take a look. So this thing, the Padilla, ped ped whatever the hell the name of it. It's it's a it's a proper beast. It's a real a proper beast. First of all, it's um, I think it's rear engine. Yeah, I think it's rear engine. The engine is definitely it's definitely sitting in the back, as you can see. So what we have is a rear engine muscle car, basically. Um, yeah, it's a it's a, called the Padilla Tapon, one thousand two hundred and fifty six horsepower. 10.8 liter twin turbo v8 and it's rear wheel drive and 2.7 seconds from zero to 100. now i really hope this thing it's not really a wheelie mo a wheelie monster because if it's a wheel a wheelie monster this thing will be absolutely crazy look at that look at that gentlemen yep i think it's gonna wheelie oh my god this thing is gonna wheelie I mean, on a normal tarmac, and this thing it was was definitely going for a wheelie. Oh yeah. All right, let's pick the Cerbero against it, or the Cerbero, whatever the hell the name of it. And let's see what's what. I mean, come on, look at really. Here we go. Oh, it's not stable. Wow, it's a powerful beast, but it's not really stable. I mean, look at that. The AI got 8.4 seconds. This one. Uh, you know, 8.8. .8. Not bad. So 8.8 .8 to to beat. Let's try again. 8.8 .8 to beat. Here we go. Whoa! Nope. It's not. It's not gonna count. It's not gonna count, unfortunately. All right, so I, I need to I, I don't I don't need to launch it extremely hard because if I launch it extremely hard, it will it will do a wheelie. Are you stupid AI? I'm gonna kill this AI idiot. Really? Man, sometimes sometimes beam ng is just irritating absolutely irritating here we go no 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 how do you active that? What do you mean grab? Ah, oh, grab mode, control, press control, Mr. Drunken. Press press control, you will see nodes or points and you can drag and, you know, do whatever you want. Use it, just press control. So 8.8 .8 then. So this thing did 8.8. .8. Not bad, not bad, the Padilla thing. The Padilla, Padilla, whatever the hell the name of it, did 8.8. Uh, .8. Plus W, which is plus a wheelie. All right, not bad, not bad so far. So far, we have these the Subro, which is the fastest thing ever, with eight seconds exactly. So let's move on 
with the next monster. Alright, let's get back to the starting line. Here we go, gentlemen. Let's see what we have next. So after these, after the Pedala thing, we have, oh yeah, the, the KAG. Where's the KAG? KAG. Here we go. It's called the KAG California, California GT. All right, gentlemen, the KAG California GT. This thing is running with a 1,214 horsepower. 1214 horsepower 10.8 liter twin turbo v8 all-wheel drive 2.4 seconds from zero to a hundred now as you can see this thing looks very classy you know classic looks all the way with some with some modern touch-ups there and there so really not bad all right let's, let's take it for a spin and see what's what Oh, it's all-wheel drive. I always, I always keep forgetting that it's all-wheel drive. And it's dual clutch, so, yeah. Look at that convertible thing. Again, 8.8. .8. All right, 8.85. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Wow, 8.8 .8 again. All right, let's try again. One more, one more run. Eight point seven. Yeah, eight. Point seven, yes, gentlemen. The KAG, the, this thing got eight point seven. Here we go. For near, here we go. California GT KAG got eight point seven, eight point seven three. Awesome, awesome. What, what a what a car, what a monster! Actually, eight point eight point seven. That that actually is superb. Not bad. Not bad at all. Wow. All right, gentlemen. All right, gentlemen. Now it's time to get to the serious stuff. And I mean it. Gentlemen, it's time to get to this serious stuff. We have two vehicles left. Yes, my friends, two vehicles left in the class A. So let's pick our first one and let me show you why is it one of the beasts that we have tonight. This thing is called the Mino A. The Mino Axe 660, that's the name of it. Where's the Mino Axe? Here you go, the Mino Axe 660, that's the name of it. Prepare yourself, gentlemen, because this thing is definitely a monster. And I mean it. I mean, yes, I said before we have some awesome monsters, but this one is definitely a monster first of all it's a pickup as you can see which is uh, i would like the first one that we have tonight amazing looks amazing attention to details this thing definitely got a star because i mean just look at it just look at that look at that so the 660 on the side uh, this is not really the uh, you know the power of the engine obviously no this is this is cubic inch so 660 cubic inch i think means 10.8 liter yes my friends 10.8 liter v8 turbo it's all-wheel drive and it's pushing and i'm not joking 
1,600 horsepower and 2.2 seconds from zero to a hundred. 1,600 horsepower in a pickup truck. Yeah, so, and it's all wheel drive. 2.2 seconds from zero to 100. 1,600 horsepower, gentlemen. So prepare yourselves. And this is not the this is not the most powerful car here. I promise you, this is not the most powerful car here. There's another one after this one. So let's see. Place your bets. Place your bets, gentlemen. The convertible, this the Subro against the Mino. Really, Mr. Mr. B, the blue one. Okay. Okay. Two votes for the for the Subro. Okay. Wow, that's okay. Let's see. Why drop it? I... Okay. Whoa! Eight point four exactly. Wow. So you guys guessed it correctly. Yes, it's a one thousand six hundred horsepower vehicle, but it's heavy like a bus. It's really heavy i mean i mean really heavy uh, you guys guessed it absolutely correctly but let's do another one for the sake of the video so 8.4 to beat and let's see Here we go. This is as fast as it will ever go. 8.36. Yes, my friends, 8.36. Yes, I know we have 1,600 horsepower car, but the aerodynamics, as you mentioned, Mr. Drunken, uh, the aerodynamics, basically, this is a brick. Also, because it's very heavy, and uh, yeah, all these things definitely are screwing the performance. But, you know, the, the gear ratios are absolutely spot on, very, very beautiful gear ratios. But unfortunately, the weight and the aerodynamics are definitely screwing this thing up. All right. So let's see. Uh, my friend, Mr. Mr. Deadshot, muscle cars were built for only one thing, not really for going around the track. If you want to go around the track, you never buy an American muscle car. You buy something European, you know, something that was actually tuned around the Nürburgring something that was actually tuned to go around corners but muscle cars were only for or tuned for only one thing only which is drag racing a lot of people always mix up on when we when we always do muscle car challenges a lot of people tune them for the track yes it's good it's good to, to make a, a, a muscle car to go around corners but uh, yeah these things were only done to go around drag drag strips only but uh, let's see here we go uh, let's see the KAG now we finished that. What is that thing? The Mino. The Mino. The Mino Axe 660. Nice, nice, nice betting. Nice betting actually on the convertible car because that thing is extremely lightweight. Like really like weighs like a feather basically. Uh, 1600 horsepower did it in 8.3 seconds. Thank you so much, my friend, for the awesome follow-up. 8.36 seconds all right gentlemen now we have the final car the final car in this challenge all right i don't want to crash it so thank you so much mr mr juice mr juice yes thank you so much for juicy thank you so much my friend i really appreciate that all right, gentlemen, now the final vehicle in this challenge. Let's see, where are you, the final vehicle? Uh, here we go. It's called the Falcon 570. Where are you, the Falcon 570? Oh, yes, the yellow thing. 
All right, gentlemen. So the Falcon 570 is running with. Let me let me check it on my book. Hmm. Yep. So the Falcon 570, my friends, is running with uh, a 1,630 horsepower. So we have extra 30 horsepower from the previous vehicles. Yes, my friends, 1,000. 630 horsepower 8.5 liter v8 turbo it's all wheel drive and two and a half seconds from zero to 100 yes we have a smaller engine 30 horsepower more and well it's not a pickup truck this is a, a proper muscle car body so what do you think gentlemen what do you think about our yellow monster your monster i mean as you can see it looks actually very good it looks very aggressive muscly 1970s all the way but what do you think? Do you think the convertible will take the win? Do you think the convertible will win the class A? Or do you think the yellow beast will take the crown? This is the final car, gentlemen, the final car. So, no, my friend, this is the testing for the challenge only. This is not the Friday live stream. So gentlemen, what do you think? Which car will take the crown? Which which creator will take the crown? The yellow or the blue? Come on, two different colors, two different styles. Lightness versus power. The Draguna Bruta, I think we tested that. Yeah, we tested that, I think, the Draguna Bruta, I think. Or maybe not. Oh, sorry, I think we haven't tested that. I don't know. So we will we'll be, we'll be driving. I'll be checking that later. Okay, so so let's see. All right. So what we have is well, one yellow vote, one blue vote, and two blue votes. Okay, two blue votes. Okay, so I think we, see, we still have one car left. But I just I'm really looking forward to see this one. All right. You know what? You know what? No, no, no. You know what? No, no, no. Let's let's keep the finale for after. Where is where is the Draguna? Where is the Draguna? I don't want to I don't, I don't I don't want to spoil the end. So let's take the Draguna now. Let's take the, take the Draguna and then do the do the ending later. So this is the Draguna then. I, I totally forgot about the Draguna because it's just hidden on my book. So this is the Draguna Bruta Three. That's the name of it. It looks absolutely superb. 1307 horsepower 6.9 liter v8 turbo it's all wheel drive 2.1 seconds yes my friends 2.1 seconds so the acceleration is absolutely brutal the engine is not that crazy big and it's pushing 1307 so now you can place your bets what do you think gentlemen this thing looks absolutely superb but what do you think the blue versus black what do you think gentlemen blue or black all right one vote for black what do you think gentlemen mr drunken mr deadshot two votes for black all right three votes for black one vote for blue okay three for black two for one for blue okay here we go one for blue yeah wow that was absolutely crazy i mean yes the ai is an idiot but still it is absolutely supremely awesome but still the blue car is definitely a, a monster here so let's do another run let's try to launch it extremely hard if you smooth out the launch this is possible and possible the suspension is really really soft the suspension is absolutely really soft you can't smooth it you have to drop it hard Okay, 
let's 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 try let's try not not dropping it. I'm gonna try just accelerating. Hmm, not bad. So not dropping the hammer, smoothing out the acceleration actually is pretty sweet. Hmm. Look at that. So not because because I just left it in drive. I just put my foot hard down and let it drive on its own. No dropping that. Not dropping the, the not dropping the gear. Nothing. Just I let it drive on its own. As you can see, eight point three six five. Hmm. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Try one. How can you do that? All right, let's let's do one more last time. But let me write the number. Let me write the number down in case. Eight point three six five. Here we go. Let me let me do another one. As you mentioned, okay. Let's try. Let's try. I tried a light throttle. No, no, I'm not keyboard. I'm not. I'm not in keyboard. No, I'm using a controller. No, I'm using a variable controller. Now, as you can see, no, leaving leaving on drive is a lot better. Light throttle is crap. So, look at that. So, leaving leaving on drive. Yeah, as you can see, look at that. Leaving on drive is a lot better. Leaving on drive, 3.6 as you can see, or 8.36. Leaving on drive, no, 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 I'm not gonna try more launches. I've already broken the two, the two, the two run rule. So as you can see, 8.6, 8.36, 36 basically is the fastest launch with this thing because of its suspension problem. Because of its suspension problem, leaving it leaving it on the on drive and you know smooth out, it's just the smooth the smoothest and the fastest ride. So Draguna, the Dragon, where is the name of the Draguna Bruta? We did it in 8.36. Alright, and that of course leaves us with again. I love the looks of this thing. This thing is absolutely sweet. But the, but the convertible is definitely destroying everything. Alright, where is the Falcon? Alright, gentlemen, we are back to square one. Now, this is the final car in this challenge. The Falcon... What was the name of it? The Falcon 517 Turbo GT. 1630 horsepower, 8.4, 8, 8.5 liter V8 turbo. It's all wheel drive, 2.5 seconds from 0 to 100. So, what do you think, gentlemen? What do you reckon? The blue one or the yellow one? 1630 horsepower in the yellow one. Place your bets. Alright, one vote for blue. Alright, two votes for blue. One for yellow. Yeah. Wow, too much for blue, nothing for black. Uh, sorry, too much for blue, one for yellow. Here we go. Really? Really, this stupid AI?
Whoa, look at that. 8.263. Wow, I mean, this thing is very fast. This thing is very, very, very fast, but definitely the blue takes the crown because it's supremely lightweight. Yeah, that, that's the fastest this thing will ever go. That, 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 that is the fastest this thing will ever go. 8.222, as you can see, which is the Falcon. The Falcon. Wow, the Falcon definitely is a fast vehicle, but not as fast as the Blue Monster. 8.222. And that, of course, means the, the, the craziest car and the fastest car in the A class, which is, of course, the the Cerbro, the Cerbro Resto Mod Convertible, as you can see, with a time of 8 seconds, 0 0.08. Wow. All right, gentlemen, and that means, of course, the winners of the challenge are, let's see, starting in the class uh, starting in class D, we have the Super Hawk. Where's the Super Hawk? Super Hawk, where are you? Ah, here we go. The Super Hawk, which is the pink cruiser, as you can see. This thing won the class D, as you can see, the class D, and with a with a total time of 10 seconds, 0.9. This beautiful pink cruiser. And of course, we have in class C the Catan, the car that basically demolished a lot of other cars yes my friends the Catan with a total time of a, or, or with the best time of 10 seconds 0.213 the Catan which is basically destroyed a lot of vehicles and then we have in class B and we have the muscle champ where is that the muscle champ the general key basically that's the name of it with a, with a total with a best time of nine seconds or 9.8 seconds the general key or the muscle champ very very nice work and then of course we have the monster in class a the convertible subro subro resto mod what a brilliant machine wow look at that what a brilliant machine indeed look at that all right, gentlemen, so basically these are the winners starting again, as I mentioned, class D, class C, class B, and of course, class A. Very, very, very nice work indeed. Look at that. All of them are absolutely awesome. All of them are just pure stars, pure, amazing muscle, beasts, power, speed, acceleration. And that, of course, means all of the creators, all of these four awesome creators will receive a copy, or actually the keys to the Mercury 350 as you can see which is basically the prize car of the challenge congratulations all of you my friends for winning the mercury 350 you know in the in the muscle car evolution challenge thank you so much gentlemen for participating you guys did a brilliant brilliant job with your awesome cars absolutely spot on my friends indeed really you want to see that down the track okay it's not it's not going to be supremely fast because uh, it's only around 350 horsepower but it's you know it goes as you can see now it looks absolutely sweet i love the mercury 350 but yes congratulations to all the four creators for creating supremely awesome machines amazing work absolutely sweet work indeed so what do you think 350 horsepower, which vehicle do you think would be supremely awesome to go against it? Well, we can do that. We can do that. We can do that. I'm trying to pick a weak car, but oh, apparently, apparently any, any one of these cars will definitely beat it hard down. I mean, this thing is definitely not a drag racing monster. Oh my god, no, 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 
This thing is not a drag racing monster at all. I, I mean, really. This thing can barely. The moustache? Oh, wait, well, which one was the moustache? I forgot which one was the... Ah, the... Oh, this this thing is powerful. I think it's like well, I mean, this this the, the Fjord three ninety five horsepower. I don't know if I can beat it or not. What? What happened? Really? Really? I have to remove them first. Alright, that's mine then. Completely ruined the game. Alright, let's see if we can let's see if I can if we can if we can actually beat it. I mean I'm not I don't I don't have high hopes for it. Because it's not really about acceleration or even about power or even speed. Just about looking good and that's it. Come on! Yep, as I, what did I say? Yeah, 13.6 doing 100 miles per hour only. As I mentioned, it's not really about, it's not really about power or speed or acceleration. Just about you know looking good and that's it. You know cruising around. You know this thing is only about cruising around. You know supremely quiet as you can see, very very quiet engine, small block Ford. You know 350 horsepower, nothing special. You know. I mean yes, it has a sporty slash comfortable comfortable suspension. And automatic gearbox, by the way. This thing is running an automatic gearbox. So yeah, it's not gonna be the best car for even track racing. Can you, can you imagine if you if you threw a build if you threw a build for 60 in it instead of the 51? And yeah, this thing will definitely be a monster. Look at that, I mean, right now it's so smooth, so quiet. It looks good, it drives good actually, even, though, even on the track, it's, it's, not, it's, not, it's not like a 1950s car. Suspension is definitely coping very, very nicely around corners. Look at that. This is the... Uh, it's, it's a vanilla map, Mr. Drunken. It's, it's the West Coast map. This is vanilla. This is absolutely vanilla. It's not a mod car. It's not a mod map. You can just open it and uh, drive in it. All right, so you, you guys suggested a lap around the track. Okay, so let's take the first one, which is the pink cruiser. Where is that the pink cruiser? There we go. Super Hawk Cruiser. The first one, which is in the class D. Let's do uh, let's do a, a, a lap and see how what kind of performance are we looking for. Here we go. It's a little dry. Dual clutch. First corner. Yeah, really. Corner is crap. You have to be careful with the throttle because it's a very, very long vehicle. And as you can see, this look at that, this loves to spin. It's like putting a powerful engine in your, in your grandfather's car. God's sake! Nope! 
know, this this thing. I mean, I, I like this thing. I like it on the drag strip, but on the on the on the track, it's not that great. All right, now let's take the katan. The katan. This thing was definitely a monster on the on the uh, on the drag strip. This thing smoked a lot of vehicles. A lot of vehicles. Let's find. It's fine because it's gonna be absolutely superb. So let's see what's what on the track. Here we go. The track should control off. God's sake. I mean, this one is also rear-wheel drive. I mean, yes, it, the previous one was was like was like your granddad's car, like your old granddad's Lincoln or Cadillac Eldorado, basically with a powerful engine up front, and that's it. I mean, basically, it will be absolutely uncontrollable. But this one, this one actually feels controllable. But if the, I mean, the engine is naturally aspirated, but it's really a playful car. This thing loves to play around. I mean, you really have to be really careful, and if you overcook it, you can actually spin out and crash. All right, let's try now the Muscle Champ, which is basically the general key, and see what's what. All right, let's see what's what here. Now, this is all the drive, so it's, this thing must, must be easy to drive. Brakes are not impressive. Yeah, brakes are absolutely crap. Crap. Yeah, grip is not great around corners. This thing is definitely not, not a grip monster. Very fast. Very, very fast. Oh my god, the brakes.
right? No, bad at all. Very, very sweet. I mean, this thing loves to spin its tires. Even, I mean, it's all-wheel drive, but this thing loves to spin its tires, which makes it a great tire-smoking monster. It's naturally aspirated, but it's a real tire-smoking monster. All right, now let's take the convertible crazy Cerbro resto mod because, I mean, this thing is just a monster. Let's take it around the track to see what's what. Here we go. I mean, this thing, this thing cannot grip at all. Yes, I said the problem is with it, it's grippy. The problem with the grip, which is not enough if you want to drive it in a sporty, professional manner. This thing has no grip whatsoever because of the powerful engine. But if you want to drift it, or if you want to smoke the tires and slide around every corner, it's too grippy to do that as well. So it's pretty much unpredictable. Sometimes it will lose grip, sometimes it will be a drift monster. It's just unpredictable. I mean, the engine definitely helps, but it's overheating, the turbocharger is boiling right now or melting. So pretty much if you drive it too much, or I mean, like two or three laps on the track, the turbo will be toast, the turbo will be damaged, you have no boost, and you'll be crying and going to the pit stop with a naturally aspirated engine. So. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Myfic. Thank you so much, my friend. But yeah, this the car is crazy, and I love crazy cars. Crazy cars that you can actually slide around the corners. It's very, very fun. I I really like it. But it's it's just I don't know. It's not. It's between a drift car and a grippy car and a drag racing. I mean, as a, as a drag as a drag racing car, this thing is a monster. Pretty much unbeatable. No car beat came. No car came close to beat it. But around the track. No, no, just no. Yeah, just no. All right, now the creator of the Mino X660 mentioned that it was tuned for the track. Uh, the Catan is very fun. The Catan is absolutely supremely fun, uh, but you have to be careful because a little mistake and you can spin out. But it was really fun. All right, now this thing is running with a six, with a 1600 horsepower engine, so let's see. Acceleration. It's good. Brakes. All right. Now this thing is grippy. All right. Now this one is grippy. This thing 
under, under stairs a little bit. Wow, this thing actually corners really, really, really flat. I'm actually surprised. I mean, this thing is just, wow, it's a pickup truck with 1600 horsepower engine, but this thing actually corners extremely flat. I mean, really flat. Let's see. Well, let, let's find out. Let's find out. Where is the weight pad? Where is the weight pad? Here you go, weight pad, single. There you go, let's see. All right, 1,687 kilograms or 3,720 pounds. Not bad, not bad at all. All right, let's see. One thousand four hundred and fourteen kilograms, or thirty one hundred or thirty one hundred and sixteen pounds. Not bad. Wow. I mean, I was expecting it to be uh, uh, even lighter, but it's really good. Right, let's take the Catan and then the Moonshine. Let's see the Cat now the Catan definitely was a light monster. Let's see what kind of differences. Oh yeah. 1284 kilograms or 2831 pounds. Now that is that is light. That is absolutely light. I mean, light like a feather, basically. I mean, 1,200 kilos, it's, it's like a lotus, like a lotus. Very, very light, extremely light. Wow, I mean, remember, this is a muscle car. This is not a European vehicle, you know. I mean, wow. Nice, nice work, Mr. Spazi. Nice work, indeed. All right, let's see what the moonshine can do. This, oh, this thing this thing is a heavy beast 1.9 1. 1. tons 1926 25 4200 pounds wow this thing is very very heavy very 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 heavy wow
Yeah. The trunk, the trunk is probably filled with moonshine. That's why it's heavy. All right, let's see what the Magnum Opossum, the family wagon. The family wagon was heavy. Let's see by how much. Whoa, whoa, oh my God. Look at that. That, exp that explains a lot. Oh my goodness, that explains a lot. 2.7 tons. Nearly 6,000 pounds. That, that's why this thing felt like a bus. I mean, this thing has a 1,000 horsepower engine, but it felt like a 400 horsepower engine. Because look at that. Wow. Wow, definitely a heavy beast. Definitely. Wow, what a monster. All right, let's see what the Rancho weighs. Let's see, let's see what kind of weight the Rancho. This thing also felt very heavy. So let's see. Two tons. Oh my God, this thing is heavy also. 2018. Well, that was that was a good year. 4,400 or look at that, near, nearly four and a half thousand pounds, nearly. Wow, that's a heavy beast, also. Wow, indeed. Wow, these things are really, really, really heavy. I mean, these things are not really good on the drag strip and not really good also on the track. That was surprising. All right, let me check. I want to check the VDM, which I mean, the VDM was actually pretty good. Wow, two tons. That's a heavy car. 2010. Oh my God, that was the that was a very very good year. 2010. I missed 2010. So, 4,432 pounds, 2,010 kilos, very, very nice. I like this thing so much. All right, one more last push. One more last car to wait, which is, of course, the price car. I really don't know what kind of a weight I'll actually, I, I used to know, but I've forgotten. So, let's take a look on the price car weight. Remember, 350 horsepower engine. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's a heavy car. Oh yes, that's a heavy beast. 2,105 kilograms, 4,640 pounds. Yeah, definitely explains why this thing feels so refined and so smooth because I mean, it's a heavy beast. All right, gentlemen. And that is pretty much it for our testing video for the Muscle Car Evolution Challenge sponsored by Mr. Hard Work Pays Off. I really hope that you have enjoyed the testing video. Better luck next time to everyone there, to, to, every, to every car creator that got disqualified. Really better luck next time. And very, very nice work to the creators that participated and got accepted in the testing video. And of course, congratulations to the winners uh, of, the, of, of each and every single class. I'll be, of course, adding you, adding uh, all four of you to a special page on Discord, which is called the winners page, so I can give you the keys to the Mercury 350. Congratulations, my friend. You actually deserved it because you have created some really, really awesome beasts of cars. Very, very nice work and congratulations. All right, gentlemen, and that's pretty much it for the testing video for the Muscle Car Evolution Challenge. I'll be seeing you very, very soon. So remember, gentlemen, if you like my work and if you want to support the channel, the link be below the stream to my Patreon page. You can become a patron, download all of my replica builds, plus the Mercury 350 and everything that I've created in the past. You can sponsor and create your own awesome challenge with your own rules if you are interested. You can also become a VIP member uh, and you can create a, your challenge and you can help me opening and, and reviewing and judging all the all the future you know challenge viewer made cars together and do some awesome private 
live streams together, play awesome games together, and, and so on. And all of that is on my Patreon page, the link in the description below. And that is that is all my friends. If you are new, follow me here on Twitter, follow me uh, sorry, on Twitch, follow me also on Instagram, everything is below there. If you are new, subscribe to my page to my YouTube channel, watch my previous videos, and I will see you very, very soon, my friends, with more challenges and more awesome live streams very very soon so stay safe gentlemen have fun keep creating awesome vehicles in automation game and good night and goodbye for all of you my friends